Now, the very day that it happened was a very poignant moment, wasn't it? There's the particular point in the academic year when our final year students were getting ready for their, their final hand-in, ready for the degree show. And the fire happened four hours before that. Yeah, four hours before the, the Friday hand-in. So uh, we were very close. That's why we lost so much of the student work, because it was all in the building, their sketchbooks, everything. Great deal of respect from the fire service as they were pulling the work out from the building. This is the library which uh, bore the brunt of the blaze. We're going to take that through a, a very sort of forensic recovery. Um, we're going to work our way through that debris because there's so many clues in there as to how this library was put together. Muriel, it, it, it is a, it's a very, very cruel irony, isn't it? Because this is the crown jewels. Of course, this was the last one that he completed um, and we adored it, every, every fibre of its being. But it's one of the most documented rooms in the world, you know, in fact, we've even digitally mapped it. It's our digital design studio. So we can rebuild it to an exact replica. I mean, this is, really tells us about Macintosh so much, doesn't it? not just fine carving and the rest of it, because there's none of that in here, but northern light, huge windows. Yes. And, and double, double height space. Double height space, yeah, all to do with the light and bringing the right ambiance into the studio, yeah. So how much money have you raised so far? Um, I believe at the moment we're standing at about six and a half million, which is, since we only launched the appeal uh, about a month ago, is absolutely staggering. The international response, as well as the uh, as well as the local response, has been absolutely overwhelming, which just shows the affection that this building has in people's hearts. And the great Scottish debate hasn't got in the way. I mean, uh, is Westminster come up with some cash? I thought that, uh, we, we've had support from both UK and Scottish government, which has delighted us equally, and they've they've, they've responded appropriately to our demands and uh, not demands requests, and they've been fantastic. So. And it will sustain whatever happens in September. In terms of the vote, I mean, you I would imagine you reckon so. these I mean, pledges are rock bottom? Oh, I think... Oh, the, I, from the UK government, yeah, yeah absolutely, yes, and from absolutely. the Scottish government. This is by no means just a Scottish issue, and I'm just, Macintosh will outlive many, many governments to come, I can assure you. Um, it, is a, it is a much bigger uh, deal yeah. than that. It, politics don't really come into this at all. Yeah. This is a restoration project, and it's about art, creativity and ideas, not about politics. I don't feel uh, Macintosh's spirit lost from this one I ought to do. In fact, I've never felt it more powerfully, if I'm honest. It's throughout. I don't, maybe the, the greatest thing from it all, that there will be a new understanding of what he did, how he did it, and what it, what it contributed to architecture. This is a good challenge for everyone. And I think it's a great, uh, maybe a rebirth of stone masonry, woodworking, metalworking. It's an opportunity as well. The beauty of this building is it's a working building, it's not a museum. So it's about new generations. Somewhere there will be students who 40 years ago nicked a chair from the library. <laughs> or, or, or a little bit of little. Yeah, I would have done it. I know all of us would have done it. I mean, a little bit of Macintosh that forever sits in the living room. Are you going to appeal to people to bring their bits back and those library books they borrowed and never returned? I think people understand there's a total amnesty if you have any, any <laughs> tiny bits. And why are you looking at me? I never nicked anything. <laughs> Maybe drew on the statues a couple of times. Yeah, guilt is in the eye of the beholder, <laughs> Mira. No, listen, obviously, obviously, if anybody wants to return anything that they took, we'd be happy to have it back. They are confident the phoenix will rise, but it could be years before artists create here again. And in the meantime, there remains deep shock as to how this could ever have happened.